Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the channel. My name is Stuart Rickert here with Sports and History Gaming and Crusader Kings 3 by Paradox Interactive. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, computer game of all time. Where you take over the role of a family through the Middle Ages and you try to obviously lead them to glory and greatness. So, my mother passed away in late November. And the reason I'm telling you this is I thought as a weird kind of, I don't know, tribute, I guess, of sorts. But this is a neat thing. Um, she, her, here in the States, the last day of her, you know, maiden name was Hesse. And, you know, in German, obviously, um, it would be Hesse, and came from Hesse Castle. So, I thought, you know, since CK3 does let you create your own ruler, um... That is what I'm going to do. So he's going to be male. He is going to be heterosexual. Um, we'll say he's... I'm 38 years old. So I will say that. Um, not quite that fat. Um, I have lost a lot of weight. I still have... I'm not thin, though. So... Eh, we'll go about there. Um... Right, so we are in the county of Castle. We are Catholic. Central Germanic will be Saxon. Um, the dynasty, we are going to customize the dynasty. Obviously there. Um, I, I'm going to try to come up with a you know good catchphrase here for the model. But in the meantime, we are going to randomize... The coat of arms. I don't think you could upload um, a coat of arms. I had actually gotten my mother a couple years ago, a few years ago, I think shortly after my father passed, um, a coat of arms signing both of my dad's family and from my mother's family. So, hers is kind of like a tree, or there's a tree on it, so, uh, that could I was trying to see if I could get it to randomize, but actually, um, we're just going to start from scratch. We're going to go green, um, and then the emblem, kind of, we're going to try to see if we can't find the tree. Um, what is this? There we go. So there is the tree. And it kind of looks mostly green and red. So that is going to be the uh, coat of arms. Sorry, I almost had a break frame there. Um, and we'll go with truth, dignity, you know, and honor. All right, truth, dignity, and honor. That'll be our motto, right? Pretty good traits. Like, you know what, though? We will go strong before the win. That'll be our pet trade strong for the win. Um, my middle name, right? So... doesn't really let me give height. It says weight. Um, I wish it let me do my height as well. Uh, I would say I'm amateur plotter. I mean, probably, yeah. Um, I will say I'm an insightful thinker. Um, which gives me... I bet most matters theological, but sadly both actual skill and dedication seems to be lacking. So learning plus four. Uh, my personality, I would say I am generous. Um, acts of benevolence and charity are no stranger to this character. Um, that That is definitely true. Um, gregarious, you can see I'm up to 189 points customization. You can get up to 400. Um, character enjoys spending time with other people. 
picture. Um, I am I am cynical. Uh, that's a negative trait. Um, monthly piety negative twenty percent. Trust the self interest of others above all else. No, I, I I would say I probably don't trust all others. I, I would say that's more of my problem. So that what paranoid. Um, I see enemies in every shadow. I don't know if I quite see enemies in every shadow. Um, I would say... I'm a scholar, philosophy, nature, knowledge, understanding the world is the only way to rule it. I, I would say I'm more of that than a... The, ooh, gardener, plus 50? Um, stewardship, stress gain. Um, I wish I knew everything there was to know about. Gardening and, and whatnot. Comfort eater, yes. Um, stewardship negative one, stress loss plus 20. Often tries to fill the emptiness that they feel by indulging in comforting foods. Absolutely. Um, and I mean, I understand that that's not a good thing. But yes, yes, definitely. Um, God, I wish I could, I, I, I wish I could give myself, like, the Master Bladesmith or something. Um, ooh, Journaler, I, I feel like, what is this, a Confider? In sharing the problems with a close confidant, this character has become able to manage life far better than they alone could alone. Okay, yeah, Journaler. Um, again, learning plus one, stress loss, this character is taken to writing down the thoughts which plague them to make them easier to manage. Man, I wish I could manage stress as well as my character can, because, I mean, I do all these things. I stress eat, I have a confider, and I journal, but, man, I am, in the game, I am not going to have a problem with stress. Um, reclusive. I don't neglect my responsibilities so much. Could try it. I do confess things, and I definitely try to, you know, explain things sometimes to my detriment. I don't know though. Um, what is homely? I'm not pleasant to look at. Ouch. Um. I mean, you, you, you know. I, 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 I may not. Um. That may be somewhat true. Uh. What is tail? Fit and sound of body? I definitely could lose some more weight, and we're going to get into that later on, but yeah, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, not terrible there. Uh, oh god, I have definitely this. Um, this person takes their relations more seriously than most, yes. I have plenty of flaws. I have a lot of flaws, but I am loyal. There, There is, there is no doubt there. Um... So I, I'm an insightful thinker. I think that's true. I have. I am generous and gregarious. Um, yeah. And I'm a comfort eater. I'm a confider. I'm a journaler. I, I make myself fail. We'll get rid of that one. Is there anything else? I think. Um, cautious leader. Uh, I mean, I, I definitely not reckless. Not a younger jungle stalker. Um, not a witch. Um, I did type poetry as a child. It wasn't published. My dad had it supposed published. So what would poem? Um, diplomacy per level of fame. This character enjoys spending time and even to derive and verse of their thoughts, feelings, and experiences. I 
What else do I have personality wise? Um, according to this character, it's best to enjoy things in moderation. That's definitely true. I don't know that I actually practice it, though. I'm honest. I value truth and sincerity highly. Intrigue negative four. That is true. That is true. I I I I do value um, truth and sincerity. What is zealous? No, I'm not that religious. Um, I am fairly forgiving. Which gives me more piety a month. I'm quick to move on from most things. Learning plus one prisoner of pity. Now the intrigue again goes down. It is virtuous to Catholic. So I feel like now that's fairly true. Um... Maybe get one more. Um, I have 41 points. But novice hunter. I mean, I do fish. And, uh, you know. But that's not obviously the same thing as being, you know, a hunter. Um, a wise man, no. I'm not a wise man. Um, uh, I can't call myself athletic. Um, I don't think I'm hideous, right? I might be homely, but I don't think I'm hideous. Um, I'd like to say I'm quick, but again, I don't want to give myself too many positive. Grades, right? Um, I have no injury. <laughs> oh, God, that's probably true. And I'm terrible at with money. That's bad. That is somewhat true, unfortunately, as well. Um, You know, I'd like to. I'd, I'd like to be like intelligent, right? It would give me up to seven stewardship, good learning, poor martial, excellent diplomacy, terrible interest. Um, we'll, we'll we'll go with that, right? I'm gonna be an insightful thinker. I'm generous. I am gregarious. I'm honest. I'm forgiving. I'm a comfort eater, I'm a confider, I'm a journaler, I'm loyal, and I'm intelligent. I think most of those are fairly true. We're going to change my appearance a little bit. Uh, we are West Central European. Customize further. Man, I mean, this is just amazing. Head and neck. Um, oh, hairstyle, that's what I wanted. Um, I'm probably not going to have my norm, my actual hair. <laughs> no. It almost looks like Medusa. And, I, mean, I, I mean, not the middle part, but I do have short hair. Um, the, the Yarl, the Long Wavy, the Young, the Old Berserker. What's the difference here? Yeah. Braided. Single braid. Like, you know, that's not too dissimilar. Um, um, it's not short, wavy, the Roman fade. That's kind of cool. Medium, oh my god. Um, the fade. That's not... That, yeah, that... The mullet... <laughs> The Page Boy, the Epic Dread, um, the Raider, the Hair Loops, oh my goodness, the High Bun, Pulled Back, no, I th yeah, I think we'll go with, what was it, the Fade? Yep. Okay. And then we'll go with the Beard, 
Na. That. That actually is pretty darn close. Um. If I can't grow much of a, a beard, but I can do a little bit of a goatee and a mustache. So. Big, yeah, definitely not big bushy beard. Uh, definitely not that. Pin goatee, I could do that. I've done that before. Wizard's beard. I think this Iberian goatee is fairly close to what I have right now. Um, my hair's a little bit lighter than that. Not blonde. That's a little too light. Okay. Okay. I do have blue eyes. That was one of the things my mom always talked to me about was, you know, how much she appreciated how much, you know, you know, my gorgeous blue eyes. Sorry. Um, I do think my eyes are one of my better features, right? The, the blue eye thing. But I, I guess I'm biased. That was kind of weird. Sorry. Um, body. What? <laughs> so we're medium. Yeah. I mean... I, 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 I do. Um, I wish I could pick my height. Alright. Um, so. So we got William Hesse, Hesse, you know, in um, County of Castle. Um, I am single, so I am not going to be married to start. Achievements are available in Iron Man when you have not used um, 400 points. So, um, Smarter than most? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm not smarter than most, but I will give myself. Uh, where is it? I will say I'm quick. Right where I am. Catches on quick. Yeah, some people will disagree with that, but I but I think I, I am reasonable and intelligent. So I'm not gonna have any Iron Man achievements, but that's fine. So we're gonna finalize this. Um, finalize your created character. Once you submit, you cannot undo this change. Are you sure you want to submit? Yes. So Count William of Castle, um, of Hesse, and we are gonna start. So one of the main changes in the game is that we are playing with Sinews of War mod because it brings population into the game. Um, and I, that, that is like the one thing that I... Holy crap, I've got ten holdings and I can only have three. Wow. Um, that's going to be a problem. Wow. So, we're going to go in here to stewardship, we're going to do the domain focus, um, to try to change that up a little bit. Um, wait, what, what, what perks do we have? We have five lifestyle perks. I don't... Why can't I be... So I guess it has to, they're all in learning. Uh, so pedagogy, learning, learn language. 
scientific, cultural fascination. We, so we're going to go just kind of down the scholar. We can get open-minded. You can learn two additional languages. Plan cultivation, increase uh, development, county efficiency plus 20%. Apostate, faith conversion, negative 75%, and different faith opinion, plus 15. Scholarly circles, learning per level of devotion, plus 2. Then we're going to learn on the job. 20% of counselors' primary skills are added to your own. That actually might come in handy. Um, Alright, because... Wow, we have 10 titles. We can only have 3. And so when I'm, you're this far over your domain limit, you get a lot of penalties. Uh, my bishop does not like me. I try to sway him. 86% chance. Um, chance that he will like me better. So we're going to have to give up some of our territory. Because even if I get married, um, there is no chance that I can... Um, hold on to all of these holdings. So, what Citizens of War does is there are trade nodes. I'm not really sure exactly uh, in Germania, which I'm not exactly sure entirely how work how they work. But you also have population, right? So, like I have negative 24 popular opinion. <laughs> the start. Wow. Um, they're Franconian. They're Catholic. And you can see we have 3.3 .3 income, 1.96 thousand, you know, almost 2,000, you know, troops. So the rural population, and then you have industry, you have urban population, industry, and the status, right? The current public health order is 30%. Public order is a measurement of the strength of the rule of law according to a county's urban population. Uh, low public order will result in faster urban capital depreciation in proportion to the size of the deficit. Migration pull will also be reduced. Rural public order is always 100%. So you can see the yearly change is 0.5%. Uh, we have negative 1.5 population growth um, in the urban area. We have 20,500 urban population, 0.1 total annual migration rate. Um, industry, and so the urban population, can we click on that? Can we get that to pop up here? No? Uh... Okay, population is needed to fill jobs, obviously. Um, internal growth, population will grow, shrink every year depending on local conditions. So the birth rate's 3.27%. You got food, 2.75%. Faith, capital, are positives. All right, from food and sanitation are both death rates of negative 4.86. So that, um, that's why we kind of have, you, you know, the death rate that we have there. So the buildings are also very different. So we can create a new duchy building so you can have military academies where you can see the number of knights increase knight effectiveness, army gold maintenance, pay dedicated facilities for training officers and knights. All right, then you have marches, siege works, tax offices, and that's all in the duchy buildings. Now the way it works, you know, with the regular buildings, as you can see, it gives you a rural district plus 2% level. So rural districts provide farmer and noble jobs. The number of rural districts that are buildable in a county is limited by the quantity and quality of arable land. Right? So that's going to impact your population. It also can impact, you know, the food that you get. Okay, walls and towers give you better public order. Hunting grounds, uh, pastoral land, re regimental grounds, they all give, um, they give you rural districts. Regimental grounds give you manpower plus 2% per level. So manpower is produced by, oops, sorry, the population depending on their job. Manpower from farmers is used to populate a barony's garrison and levies, while manpower from artisans is used to provide men at arms capacity to the county order and the garrison to the local barony. Right, so again, yeah, there is a lot of, you know, more in, um, kind of in depth in terms of having real people. You know, in the game as opposed to just simply like the old developmental system of, you know, CK3 or CK2 or, you know, Europa Universalis 4. So if we play U4, we'll probably be using the, the Mayu and Taxes mod, which again deals with population. It's one of the things that I think those games really need to incorporate is having like real actual people instead of just like a developmental system. 
Uh, it's one of the things I think Victoria 2 and Victoria 3 did really well. Even Rome Imperator, or Imperator, sorry, um, you know, did really, really well. Is having that population based system. And that's kind of where we're at here. So, I need to find a wipe. Now, what we're going to do is um, Zilla Blitz, and this will be linked down below in the video description, is he had a year, year and a half ago, based. Um, a walkabout journeyman save of Football Manager 21 where he had a map of how far he had walked and that was how he could um, take his next job. So for me, what that's going to be is it's going to be that's where I have to find my wife. And, you know, form alliances and things like that. So we are going to play on one to two or two to three times speed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a quick pause. We're going to jump in. We're going to see the map. I've done about 96 miles so far, um, and you know, in this last month, I've done 986 miles since I first downloaded the map um, and or the app and started using the map. But that would basically give me the whole of the continent of Europe. And obviously, during the Middle Ages, people rarely get married outside of their village. At least the common people. Obviously, nobles had the ability to kind of you know move around go from barony to barony or, you know, country to country to find the most advantageous, you know, marriage alliance. But I don't want to start with the whole of Europe necessarily available to me. So, sorry, my dog is kind of whining at me and he wants some attention. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to pause real quick. We're going to hop in. We'll see how far I can get. And then we'll see where I can go to in terms of finding a hopeful wife. One moment, everybody. All right. All right. So here we are, right? You can, sorry. Um, we can get rid of, don't ignore the, like, the larger. So the larger circle is kind of where if I, you know, the 986 miles I've walked overall. So like I said, I could go almost anywhere. This is the circle. I forgot to delete those two um, circles earlier. And like with when Villa Blitz did it, it will get updated about once a week. So right now I can go up to Han Hanover. I can get down to Frankfurt. Um, can't quite make it to Leipzig. Uh, Dortmund. I'm not quite to the Netherlands. So this is kind of the area that I'm going to be in when I have to get married. So we're going to pause again. We're going to jump back into the game. And we'll see if I can find a wife within those parameters. So, oh, welcome back. We are back here in the game. Oh, we do not want to be there at four times speed. Some people play it that fast. I do not. So, again, we can kind of zoom in. So, basically, definitely can't make it to the Netherlands. Let's see if we can zoom in here. So, I can't get up to Hanover, but Hanover, Hanover is in my territory. So, I don't know that I'm going to be able to marry anybody who's not, you know, already at my port and might just be a... Um, you know, commoner who's kind of like at my court already because with that, you know, with the basis of where I am, like, I don't, where is this? Burn? Yeah, so, um, <laughs> I think I should have probably made myself buried to start. Which isn't realistic, because I'm obviously unmarried. Um, I wish... Th is there a way for, like, distance from me? Um... No. There's not a distance. Um... Since I kinda... Is there... Okay, see yeah, it right. So, let's see. Is there anybody on the council? Um, he's not married. Are any of the, None of these people are married? Of course not. Um... What about, like... Oh, I hold everything? Man, I'm in charge of everything. I don't... Okay, this guy. He's a... Oh, of course he's unmarried. Um... <laughs> oh, lordy. I'm trying to just find, like, random people. This guy's unmarried. None of these people are married. So... We might have to, um, 
Oh god. Do I have anybody at my court? Okay, so I do have people at my court. So I'm gonna have to marry one of my courtiers, which is, you know, less than ideal, I guess, but... Um... Cannot break my rule. That, that, that That's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, Theodrata... Um, has a 12, 6, 5, 7, 7. Um, I have vassals. They're all dudes, though, so that doesn't help me. Um, she's good, but she's also, um, a Kenazi, which is kind of interesting to be in, you know, kind of central Germany. Um, Himmeltrude is a 9, 10, 2, 3, 3, you know, with a 3, a learning of 3, that is, oh, God. Um, yeah, kind of slim pickings here. Um, 12, 6, Theodrata, how old is she? She's 20, I'm 38. I mean, I guess in medieval terms, that's not super drained. Immeltrude is 25, so she's a little bit... Um, she's a little bit older, and she's a little bit... She's a lot better in terms of... Um, her stewardship. So if I marry her, um, I will lose a hundred um, prestige because she's unlanded. And he's a nobody. Um, but children of this marriage will be born into the house Hesse. Chance of children is medium. Um, um, that's what we're going to do. So Countess Emeltrude of Castle is now married, so I am married. Does that change anything? No, of course not. Um, I am still horribly over burden in terms of my domain limit. Usually when you get married, we go to manage the domain. Okay, so she, having her manage the domain put me up to four. Um, so, let's see, I have 146 gold. So what, what we're going to do here real quickly is we're going to go in here, can we invite Knight? It will cost 150 prestige. So we will send the Herald, and then what we're going to do is we're going to invite Knights, and we're going to give them some of our cities. Um, we are six holdings above your domain limit of four, which will reduce your taxes and levies. So right now we have 1,600 men. I know we don't have a player heir. I should grant Caterbron to somebody, the bishopric. Um, okay. Can I grant that to... Solnath of Castle, even though he's, like, super old? Okay, here we go. Adelgad has seated my summons and has a has a run. He is 46. He is... A vengeful, arbitrary, paranoid, and a conscientious scribe, and he has a prowess of 14. If I recruit him to court, it'll cost 45 gold. If I grant him a title... Okay, I'm just going to recruit him to court. He'll gain 50 opinion of me. So, Adel God um, is... Going to get the barony of here with Weigenhan. I, I mean, I apologies. I never did learn German. I learned uh, Spanish, but we are going to give him. All right, that barony, and so he is now dear lip, and he is my vassal. Um, By endurance and industry. So you can see I am down down to 9, being 9 out of 4 um, over the domain limit. Sway compliments to make my suffragan bishop central full north more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him. I can include a compliment in my next missive to escort. I'll just keep it short and professional because those other ones don't always work out. You can see down here I am working on the domain focus. It is too soon to change focuses again. Um, 
Greetings, my charming vassal. You've been a loyal and devoted subject, and I wish to reward you for your service. I, in recognition of this, I'm hereby offering you the position of Marshal of Angria. I will accept. Um, I have a Marshal of Ten, so I'm not exactly amazing, but I guess I'm the Marshal of Angria. That's cool. So I am a vassal, right? I, I'm not a king. So I am Count William. So I have some power, but I'm not a king. So I, I, I am not alone in being able to rule over my lands. So I do make 8.2 gold a month now. So that is really pretty good. Um, and... Okay, the road, my steward, Sevenobaj, informs me that there's a desperate need for new road to traverse the county of Gadigan. Many of the old roads are dilapidated and even dangerous. A commoner by the name of Iowa has been put forward as a natural leader of the construction effort. Uh, my steward has a stewardship of nine. This guy, yes. Um, he, you know, Salza, he has a stewardship of 14. Um, see it done. All right, the stewardship begins. Um, or the project begins. So I'm still looking for more knights, right? So my, you can go in here and you see my knights. Again, I don't have any children or anything, so... Uh, you can see Adelgad of Zeigenhant is there. He's my second best knight. And hopefully we'll get another knight or two to appear, and then I can work on... Trying to see if I can't... Um, looks like I'm the holder of everything here. Um, the road commission improvement, finding the already completed parts of the new road immensely beneficial. The Merchants Guild in Ganningen has made a donation for the sake of expanding the road further. It'll help my pockets. I can get 60 gold. The road progress increases by one, or this will help the road. The road progress and quality increase by one. We'll go with that. Right, um, is there anything else here in Castle that I own? No. It looks like that was the only town that I owned. Paderborn. Wait, is that a county? Fire and lip, the firefighting efforts were somewhat successful, but parts of the city have been destroyed, and the damages will take some time and effort to heal. Regretful, but it could have been worse. The urban population goes down by 1%, and urban districts by negative 10. Um, I wish I had more towns, right? Like... Because otherwise, the road progress according to Iowa, the work on the road in Gottingen is going well, the ground is firmer, and the stretch is flatter than we hope, my lord. Um, things are going exactly as they want them to, the progress increases by two, the quality increases by one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give up some counties here, because there's just not another city that I can give up. Um, got again, it's 23,000, 45,000, I don't know if I'd want to give that up. 47,000, 39, 52, wow. 46, 69, 45, so what's a 23? Um, Bertram? Okay, Bertram's pretty good, he's a bold villain, he's diligent, callous, trusting, mastermind philosopher. And he has a prowess of 13, so we will recruit him with court with 65 gold. And then we will also grant him the title of... What was that place? Oh, where we're building the road! Really? Okay. Because uh, again, we just, we have to... Um... Okay, even before it's complete, merchants have begun traveling along the new road in Gottingen. It was suggest those who use the road should contribute to its construction. 
or they contribute to my coffers. I gain 55 gold, road quality, and I gain stress. Um, how many control level we got again will change by 20. Progress goes by one, road quality increases by two, and I will give it up to um, this guy, Bertram. So I am now eight out of four, so I'm getting better um, in terms of the levy leaves farmland empty. Your marshals, poor marshal skill causes problem. Tony Tillenshine gained unused farmland for five years. So I am trying to. And you can see now he has a different color because I, I no longer control that county. So if I would get a son, I could give some titles to my son, and then I could also decrease my... Um, being over domain limit. Ah, man, I, I really should have improved my stewardship more. Uh, the cutting losses with the loss of the county got again completing the road there would not, not be very beneficial to me. At least the taxes collected for the project are in my treasury rather than wasted on the road. I gained 55 gold. So that's good. Seppel was gained the opinion of me. I'm back to 8.9. And I think that's about where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. So again, we do have the population of Sinners of War mod in. We are working on trying to... Um, as we see, the struggle catalyst has been triggered. Uh, and then we are going to go in here and we're going to say we will build... We have 170... Well, I don't want to build anything just yet. Um, why do we have such low oh, cultural acceptance? So we're going to take our steward here and say... Promote our culture here in... Um, castle. Take 20 years. And then Rudigar has heated his summons. He's an open train expert, prowess of 15, he's 39. How much would it cost to get him to my court? 55 gold again. That's fine. Um, Faust Investments at Paderborn. My lord has come to my attention that there's a rare opportunity to invest in the county of Paderborn. My wife almost draws up the details for the business investment. It doesn't lead look as if the deal to benefit Paderborn greatly successful. 75% the deal results in a great return for Paderbron. They get successful business endeavors. 25% we get failed business for 10 years. Leave the opportunity to people. I would lose 30 gold, but the client control level would increase by 15. And this talk about local affairs is beneath me. I'm going to say it's a worth risk worth taking. Successful business endeavors for 10 years. Awesome. And plus we got it we, we saved the gold. So where is Matterborn here? Um fifty three thousand people, it's not giving us anything. We're not giving us much because again of uh, the issue with the over domain limit. Um and you can see the successful business actually gives us five percent development growth and five percent holding taxes. So we are gonna go in here to Find my next smallest one. I gained 50 gold from household savings despite my spouse's poor stewardship skill. I like that. County of Waldeck. Lip that. You know. I feel like I am going to give that to my knight, and then that's where we will kind of end. You can see uh, it's a feudal county, our realm size is 7. There's minor flooding in the county of Fulda. Construction negotiations happen despite your spouse's poor stewardship skill. Beneficial deal for 10 years. Actually, you know what, we'll see if we can't maybe get a child on the way. So what we're going to do, since we've already swayed our bishop to like me, We'll abandon that scheme. We're going to go here and we're going to say, you know what? We are going to sway my wife. Um, actually, we don't want to sway her. We want to... Um, there's two more. We can try to romance her. Uh, attempt to romance Countess Inultrude, regaining prestige, improving their opinion, or even possibly becoming soulmates. 100% chance of the scheme. Absolutely. Declaration of love. Uh, the time has come to let my feelings towards Countess Emma be known. I want her to be remembered this day for the rest of her life. 
Plant a letter in her chamber, sing a love ballad, impress her by winning a sparring match, and go with my gut in the moment. I am going to try to win a sparring match. I am the marshal. Romance, declaration of love. I recruit one of my most senior soldiers to practice with him for three days straight. Once he deems me ready, we head together to the main courtyard. As we begin to spar, a crowd gathers at the air cheers, soon draw none other than the virtuous Countess Immeltrude. The soldier fights valiantly, but I disarm him with a final flawless thrust. I kneel before Immeltrude to declare my noble intentions. I dedicate this victory, Countess Immeltrude, bringing you honor is my only desire. My pedal is speechless, but clearly flattered. Why else would she be smiling thusly? The game continues. So that is where we are going to end today's episode. As always, if... Um, with every YouTuber. If you would wish to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, please do so. Otherwise, stay safe, everybody. Take care, and I will talk to you all later.